Hey peaches, what's up? So the day has come. Today is going to be my makeup collection video. I just want to say a couple things before I get into this video and that is that I'm in a regular sized room. I don't have a beauty room as of this point. I would love to have a separate workspace, but right now I don't. So I'm just working with what I have in my room. I don't have a humongous room. Um, I have a lot of nice things that I've worked super hard to get. I think it's ridiculous to have to start this video and say I'm not bragging because um, a, this was requested by a lot of people for me to show you guys kind of how I store everything and what I have. And second, it's very important to me that you guys know everything I have right now, literally everything I have worked incredibly hard to be able to purchase for myself. Um, and that goes for everything, not just for makeup, you know, for the things I have, um, for the things I get, for the things I give away, everything like that. Um, I work really hard to get. So I just wanted you guys to know that this isn't like me trying to say look at all my nice shiny things that I have and that you don't anything like that at all this is just because it was requested of you guys and I feel like y'all are my friends and I like to share things like this with you guys especially because the organization right now um, even though my space is small I kind of have figured out a way that I really like to store things and I'm excited to show you guys that so if this video is not interesting to you or you're not super thrilled and excited about watching it that's cool I'm not mad about it go ahead and click out and find another one of my videos that you might be interested in watching I just filmed a brow routine and a wing liner routine so those are going to be up at some point as well I'll have them linked down below so how I'm gonna basically do this I think is um, I have some storage down in my drawers that I'm going to bring out and set on top of my vanity to be able to go through the things and show you guys um, I'm gonna try to show you kind of as individual as I can without this being like four hours long because I do have a lot to get through kind of where everything is and what all I have so let's go ahead and get started in this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and do that so you won't miss one of my next videos and let's go ahead and get into it Okay, so starting as a general overview of my vanity, this is what we are working with. This is everything that's on top of my vanity here, and then my makeup, a lot of it, is in the first two drawers. So I have one here, and then I have one um, over here as well. And then I have my nail stuff in the drawer that's underneath it on this side. And then over here, everything that has to do with my hair is in here, and then I have under there a little caddy of like all of my irons and my hair dryer and brushes and things. So we're going to start with the drawer to the left. So this is the first drawer, which is a lot of my concealers and foundations. So the little thing that it's in is actually just a storage um, unit, I guess, that goes on top of a desk. It has a little compartment here, one here, and then these are two just big rows. And I found this on sale somewhere for like a couple bucks uh, and I tried to do it this way and it worked out very well. So the thing I keep here is this little canister that's also just for pins on your desk. It's the same type of material. Um, and in here is just kind of any random thing that wouldn't fit somewhere. So I have a couple of my concealers and then I also have everything for my brows. So I have my Ardell, I have my MAC concealer, my Anastasia Dip Brow. And then the rest of the stuff is either loose shadows that um, don't have a home somewhere. This is my fluid line from MAC. And then I have some like Milani shadows and I also have some of my NYX shadows. And as far as the things that are outside of this container, I just have my BB creams and um, CC creams. So I have this one that I recently picked up from CoverGirl and see Clean Matte for um, oily skin. So that's my BB and then I have the Aveeno CC cream. These are typically what I would bring to like a beach vacation or something like that. So I have uh, something for a little bit of coverage but nothing too heavy or too much to pack. So those kind of just set to the side. Then I have my CC eye cream in front here. Then I have a couple face powders. So I have my Fit Me powder, I have my Milani, and I have my Better Skin. Behind my CC cream here, I just have um, my two eyebrow uh, gels. So I have this one that's the Great Lash, and then I have the Maybelline Brow Drama one as well that I just keep there. Then for back here, I have a lot of the same things like in multiple colors just because my skin is a little hard to match at certain points. So I have two of the Better Skin foundations um, that I did a full review on. I have 20 and 15 in that. 
I have the Fit Me Matte and Poreless, which I had a bunch of these, but I think I finally used up the rest of them. I used to have a ton of these bottles, but I just have that one now. Then I have three of the Dream Velvet um, foundations, again, just because the color is a little funny to, to match. Then I have my L'Oreal Pro Glow foundation. I have another BB cream, just kind of tucked in back here because it fit. And I have my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat foundation and two of the Infallible foundations. So I have my one that I'm currently using in a backup. And at the very back here, I have a contour stick from NYX. I have the Milani 2-in-1 foundation. I also have the True Match Lumi, just because since those bottles are round, they don't fit right here as well. Then for concealers, I have pretty much everything back here. I have some stuff from um, Makeup Forever. I have some Rimmel. I have a couple of the Better Skin uh, concealers and then I have a lot of the Adri wand. I've got three of them up here. And I also have four of the Fit Me concealers again just because sometimes it's hard to match um, exactly for what you want. I have this amazing concealer um, from Amazing Cosmetics that I like but it is not my right color so I need to get one of those that's correct. I have my concealer from Morphe back here as well and then over in this little corner where I just keep basically like my liquid highlighters I also have my LA Girl Pro Concealer that's my color corrector and then I have my Bye Bye Under Eye um, Concealer from Make Cosmetics and then just like I said a couple more highlights and then that's pretty much it for that drawer so it's basically just a good overview of like a lot of the face stuff that I have. So this is drawer number two, same little dealio about the organizer that I got for pretty cheap. I have a lot of powders to begin with so I have two of my Ben Nye powders. I just have the neutral set and then I have the banana powder and then under that I have this one from Aveda that they sell at my salon that I was interested in trying out. And I actually really do like this, it's just a mineral powder. Then here I have my Hoola bronzer from Benefit. I have a Too Faced um, powder and then I have the blush that I love which is the, um, the one that looks like this. It's a blushing bronzer and it is called Pink Leopard. Looks like this, it's my favorite. I have my Prep Set Go from Milani which is just a translucent powder. I have this little bronzer that I also got um, from a makeup event. Oh my gosh, I cannot pick it up. And it's the Orlane Paris. This is a bronzer, but it has a little bit of a blush color to it as well. It's gorgeous. I love it so much. And I have my NYX setting powder. Then I have a bronzer from Rimmel. And then just a little blush back here from NYX. Over here I have all of my soft matte lip creams and my butter glosses from NYX. I have a full collection video on that. If you guys are interested, I'll link it. Then I have um, a Milani lipstick down here that you can hardly see. And then I just have some lip glosses right here. I have all of my Milani glosses. These are um, the Amore Matte. Yeah, Amore Matte. And I absolutely love them. This was the most recent one I got called Fancy. It is so pretty. I love these so much. If you guys want like a full video on them too, just let me know. And then I have this Gerard Cosmetics one in Crystal. I love this one because when you open it, the bottle lights up. It's super cool. Then over here in this little compartment, this is a separate one, I have a lot of my eyeliners, my lip liners, and I have my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. I feel like these uh, all go together really well and because um, my lip liners I can just kind of set up so I can see the colors back here. Over here I have even more eyeliners. These are mostly eyeliners, but some of them are like eyebrow pencils and things like that. I have my NYX um, Brow Gel down there too. Then I have some of the color tattoos. These are from... Maybelline I think. Then I have my lash glue right here. I have some of my um, my cream liners. This one is from Maybelline stacked up here. Then I have a lot of my mascaras but I do have a couple more that won't fit there. So I just keep these off to the side. I haven't tried this one yet. It's still in its package but it's just one from Rimmel. Then I have these that I've recently picked up and then I have all the ones that are put away. So I have like the push-up one. I don't really have any high-end mascaras. Um, just because, I don't know, I tend to just gravitate towards um, drugstore ones because I really like drugstore mascara and if something new comes out, I'm always like the first one who wants to try that. I think I have a small size of the They're Real. Yeah, that's the only thing I have that's kind of high-end and that was like $10. So. so that is everything that's in my side drawer. And if we're looking on top of my vanity, I just keep a few of my lip colors on top here. This is one from ColourPop and it is the color Vice. I like this one so much and I always pair this on top of something else. Then I have two of my MAC lipsticks here. Then I have this one here that I have no idea how to say the name here. Um, this was another one I got free from the makeup event I went to. 
and it's just a pretty pretty bright red I like it so much so starting with the palettes as you guys can see I have quite a number of them palettes and eyeshadows are definitely one of my favorite parts of makeup so what I have done here is I took two individual like file organizers so these have three little compartments actually they have four compartments and then back here this is a file organizer as well that just has three little places for things so in the first two here I have this palette from Milani you guys saw me do a look with this in my full face Milani video I have the Lorac Pro matte palette this is just a little mini one I really like it because it's so compact then I have the Too Faced peanut butter palette and I also have the Too Faced cat eyes palette you guys are going to see a lot of Too Faced and a lot of Morphe then I have the e.l.f. Um, this one has powder all over it, but it is just actually the contour palette. So this is um, the powder one, not the cream one. just looks like that. I have this custom built MAC palette. It is just a quad. Then I have my Too Faced Smoky Eye palette, my Too Faced Matte Eye palette. Here I have the little NYX Smoky Eye palette that, again, I used that in my Full Face NYX video. And I also have the Maybelline um, Blush Nudes back there as well. I tend to forget about that one a lot. Then I have my Morphe um, palette for my eyebrows. So this is just the brow kit. If you search their website, this is somewhere on there. This is the only one that they have, I think, for brows. And it just has a ton of different colors in it and two little concealer colors there. So behind these palettes and before this one, I have my Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzer. I highly recommend this if you're just getting into makeup or if you're trying to build a kit because it has almost every single one of their bronzers in there. Back here I have my Tarte Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette. Then I have my Urban Decay uh, Naked Smoky palette. Then I have my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. I have my four Morphe palettes. So these ones I have, I don't know in order what they are. So this is the OS. This is the 35S, so that is just their fall palette that I absolutely love. This is a 35S, so it's a bunch of fun colors. And I have the 35M, so that's just like the S, except these are all matte colors. I have two of my airspun powders. One of these is for extra coverage. It's still translucent, just has a little bit of coverage benefits to it. And then the other one is just the translucent one, as you guys can see there. Then I have this cute little container, it's just a cardboard thing basically from the Target Dollar Center that I put some uh, tissue paper in and it's all of my brushes. They look really crazy right now because it is brush cleaning day so I'm about to wash all of them but I keep all of my um, foundation brushes in here, all of my face brushes and typically my um, beauty blenders are somewhere else. I have a couple of those and then I just have this one that's from Real Techniques. We're almost done guys. So over here these are what I had in my drawers and I just felt like the other storage that I did was a ton better and I like having these up here because they don't take up as much room in my drawer um, as the thing I have now. So on top I have all of my skincare items that I keep at my makeup vanity. So over here I have a lot of my setting sprays. I have this one from Maybelline. I have one from Urban Decay back here. This is actually a moisturizer that I've been trying out. It is an oil-free um, one, I think, and it's for combination skin. It has a strong scent, but I really like it. Then I have my um, NYX Matte Finishing Spray. Then I have my Ben Nye Final Seal. Then I just have a couple eye creams that I keep out on top here. I keep these two so that I remember to put on sunscreen, because this is sunscreen. Just, like, basic sunscreen pretty much. Then I have my Pixi Serum that I've been trying out. I'm obsessed with Pixi products right now. I have an acne free, um, this is supposed to be really good for getting rid of any little breakouts and it is 10% um, benzoyl peroxide, but what I actually like better than that one is the Rapid Clear from Neutrogena. Then at the very back I just have my Cetaphil moisturizer that I'm obsessed with. So in my drawers in this first one, I just have all of my eye primers and then I have three Nug lip masks because I love these to death. And then in the very back, I just have some eyelash curlers. In the second one, I have face primers. And also the third one, I have face primers. I think I've told you guys before, I'm kind of obsessed with, um, like, really good primers. So I always try out and have, like, a hundred of them on hand. And over here, I have my ColourPop eyeshadows. The reason they're in a drawer and not um, down with the rest is because they're easy to stack, but they also kind of break easy, unfortunately. One of mine did break on the way to my house when I got it. So I just keep those in there to keep them a little bit safer. Then I have all of my pencil sharpeners and tools like that. I have my fake eyelash um, applicator. The second drawer is a lot of my blushes. Um, actually, pretty much all of my blushes. And down here I have some Monosat Shaping Gel, which I use for primer, and it's one of the best ones I've ever used. I also have some more um, 
eye care stuff. This is one of my favorites. It's from Olay, and it's the Bright on Schedule. The applicator has these three little like metal dots, and it's so soothing for in the mornings and helps get rid of my dark circles. Then I have three Chi serums back here that are in a little bottle like this. I also have this um, chamomile eye cream from Mario Budescu back here, and then I have some more sunscreen items. Then I just keep my Josie Marin Argan Oil in there as well. So that is my complete makeup um, collection. I hope that you guys liked it and that this video wasn't incredibly long, that it was super interesting to watch though. Leave me down below what you love the most about my collection. What part of it? Is it the foundations, the eyeshadows, the brushes, or whatever that I have that you guys are interested in? Thank you for requesting this video. I was super excited to be able to film it for you guys as am I always for anything that you request. I'm going to go ahead and eat some buffalo dip and some chips and have some sweet tea. So I'll get to that and you guys get to whatever you've got to do next. I hope that you are having an awesome week, whether it's just getting started or it's just ending. And I will see you guys so soon. Bye.